girl another day another round of antics what's new nothing you guys know how i'm getting down i'm filming on my new camera i just drank almost a full cup of coffee and one down sip so i'm just on cloud nine right now i've been living in this house since march first everything's still not unpacked but it's for good reason there really isn't that much furniture like in my room that matters is still on that floor so there's really no real furniture to like unpack and put certain stuff away but hopefully over the next couple weeks i'll be getting a move on that because sister girl it needs to happen mm -hmm, immediately we'll talk about that another time i have decided randomly i was supposed to be doing this y'all read the title you know i'm cleaning out my closet film this next week and do everything like the week before i went on vacation considering i'm gonna be selling the majority of the clothes that i'm getting rid of why would i wait till the last minute before vacation girl I would, I would love to have some extra spending money. So today we're going to be going through my closet and cleaning it out, organizing it, setting it up because right now, right now, she is not where I want it to be. She's a hot ass mess. I feel like this would be like the perfect video to get sponsored by like Depop or anything like that. But they don't want to work with me. They're lost. I just want to say before I head upstairs, let me fix the lighting. Yep. You see how easy that was? Mm hmm. You see how easy that was? Okay. Before we head upstairs, I feel like I've been in my office a lot of the videos. Don't get used to this because I just wanted to say I got a new lens for my camera. I um, also put my usual mic on it. So we're really just like in my new almost camera setup, if you will. Like this is a good camera. You see the, you see the focus on this haul? My boyfriend's calling. I want to give you an overview of what my closet looks like. So this is what my closet selection currently looks like my shirts are not organized i have my pants along the top i have more clothes over here and there's like clothes just you know a mess and to make it even better there is so much laundry that i need to do like clothes wise and then i also have a bunch of clean clothes in my guest room that i have to put away but something tells me this is gonna take some time one just because the laundry and two the amount of clothes i actually have we're gonna be doing a lot i don't like cleaning out my closet but i do like spending time and in taking into account what i actually have whatever i want to keep i'm gonna leave up hung up in the closet and then whatever i want to donate and or sell there will be two piles so we're gonna have a keep area in the closet a donate pile and a sell pile i will say i originally planned for this to be like trying on everything in my closet like i'm gonna try on everything in my closet that is not what we're doing because realistically i'm not trying everything on especially if i know i'm not gonna keep everything just based on looks like i'll try stuff on once we go through the first round so it's probably gonna be like a few rounds of going through clothes but right now we're just getting rid of stuff based on looks quality and how i personally feel about wearing it also this is too short Aaliyah. Do your job. First round of getting rid of clothes is done. Like, it's done. I got rid of stuff just based on looks alone that I would not wear anymore. And just, it's just not really my style. So I got rid of a lot of things that I just am not appealed to anymore. I think I'm going to take this time and start rearranging my shirts. I know I might be skipping stuff, but listen, listen, this is my thought process. I need to rearrange them to see how they look together. Cause right now I just have everywhere immediately. I also have hoodies that I need to go through that are in my guest bedroom closet. Hmm. Yeah, we're gonna organize these shirts into categories probably crop tops short sleeves and long sleeves And then I want to color coordinate them say I'm doing the most but I think what I'm doing is perfectly Normal because it's summertime. I think I want to put my long sleeves here Just because they're gonna be behind the door and anything that's like short sleeve and crop tops and everything like that Is gonna go right in front because the door's right here So I'll be right in front. So when I come in and see it it's gonna be perfect and just right there. So I feel like I made a pretty good dent in my clothes, but then again, I have to remember, you still have stuff that you need to wash and put away. Ideally, I would like my long sleeves and hoodies to go here. That's a crazy statement, but that's ideally what I would wanna do. And then my summer stuff is gonna go right here. And then of course, I think I wanna keep my pants on top of there. Pants are gonna be another thing just like in itself because I do have to try those on. So we will be trying those on together, but till further notice, that's on the back burner. I don't feel like thinking about pants right now. Pants are the most expensive part 
of wardrobe in my opinion aside from like outerwear and knowing that I'm gonna have to get rid of a lot of those because I'm now a size 29 30 31 and a lot of my pants are between the size of 25 and 27 you see how I'm not excited to do that and I have a lot of pants I either don't wear or they don't fit so we'll deal with that later though really 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 odd angle so I'm sorry but we're back in the closet <laughs> Time out, I did the laundry and I just got that violent three to five sleepiness so I went and lay down for like an hour and a half I thought I was gonna take a nap I put on the Hulu original the Kardashians I thought I was gonna go to sleep because that that type of stuff puts me to sleep but I put it on I ain't go to sleep for an hour and a half while I'm caught up with drama when I should be caught up on breast I mean, I am cut up on rest, but whatever. I have made the very brave decision that I am going to tackle my bags today. If you didn't know, I am a tote enthusiast. This entire thing is full of bags. Um, a Macy's bag. I don't think that's mine. I think that's my mom. This is a really fun bag. It's CDG. That's Coma de Carsons. That's the people who make the Converse with the heart on it. I don't wear this often, but I don't have anywhere to wear it. But I really like it. Keep this. Tote bag from Urban. It's just camo. Nothing crazy. This is definitely keeping that. Here's a tote that I never used before. Gotta keep it though, because you can never have too many. All right, we have this mini purse. Not a fan of the gold lining, so we're gonna get rid of that boohoo we can get rid of that because i'm never gonna use that a youtube shorts fanny pack wow this has been in here since october i'm gonna keep this because there's goodies in here i never knew about thank you youtube i don't know what this is but it needs to go here's a bathing suit is this my bathing suit box <gasps> girl this isn't even my tote box oh i'm tweaking bad <laughs> tote box that's a tote box she has some weight on that thing all right my very beloved carhartt tote love it keeping it my very beloved cargo tote loving it keeping it i promise i'll get rid of some stuff i have this kind of space one not really a fan it can go remember that camo one that i showed you before yep this is the same one it just went through the wash she's gone i have this crossbody bag what exactly is fitting in here i brought this to vidcon pass is still in here i think i'm gonna Toss that. I have this. I got it from Urban Outfitters. It's so cute. Oh, wait, that's the boring side. So cute. I'm keeping this. Middle and high school Jansport book bag. Jansport, if you ever want to work with me, girl. This bag has seen so many countries, states, vacations. A weed leaf gibbet for Crocs. Rest is history. I think it's so unique. The question is, am I ever going to style it? I want to keep it. I'm sorry, y'all. Is my hoarder tendency showing? I have this black tote bag also from Urban Outfitters. Can you tell I like Urban Outfitters tote? I like it. It's still fairly new. The quality's still really good. So I think I'm going to keep it. Oh my gosh, this is one of my favorite corduroy bags. I have this in two colors. The perfect school bag. Neon pink tote. I'll probably only ever use this in the summer, but for right now... She's staying with me. I'm sorry. I forgot I have this off-white crossbody bag, but just because it's off-white, I'm keeping it. We have my first Telfizi. Keeping her. That, no. <laughs> no. Never gonna use this, so it's going away. Going away. Not my face. Let me give you a little update of what we're looking at. Those come with me on my trip. That's gonna be my new swimsuit box. This is going. These are swimsuits, some bags, and gym shirt. I have body suits right here because I'm start gonna start buying more, and I thought it would just make sense if I had, like, crop tops body suits and then regular shirts and then over here there's still a really big gap but all my long sleeve shirts are also color coordinated i put my flannels to the side just because they're only really taken out like once a year i feel like we're making pretty good progress it's like two days later not gonna sit up here and lie to you because what do i gain from that i am here to continue the closet clean out saga if you will i am currently sitting on my floor closet behind me ready to try on every single pair of pants 
that I own. Even if I just got them or I know they fit, I still need to try them on because one thing about me, I'm gonna forget I have some, okay? So I need to like fully wrap my head around the fact that I own a piece of clothing. Also, this morning, it's been raining like for the past week and a half. Like this is the first sunny day that we've had here in Charlotte in like a week. Tell me why. Because of all the rain, they're just bringing critters everywhere. There's frogs all outside. There's centipedes and millipedes that come out outside and that's fine. Stay outside, do your thing. Just don't come in the house. This morning, I went to bring Casho inside from his potty break because, duh. I went to go take him out and I noticed something brown on the step and I was like, mmm, what is that? Then I noticed it had legs. Mm-hmm, yep. There was a spider up under this part of my steps and I was like, oh, hell no. Told my boyfriend, can you get this? He got it. Why he was killing that, he found two more in the same corner. But it's the fact that there was three of them congregating and celebrating in my home. Why are you acting like that? Rain equals critters and I'm sick and tired of it. Like go to somebody else's house. All these houses in this neighborhood, you wanna come in mine? No. And the fact that they came in as a thruple, go to hell. Y'all will not be seeing heaven. That was like the second, third, and fourth spider I've seen in this house, maybe even fifth. Say all three because there was three of them. Uh -huh. There was a big one and then two small ones, disgusting. Anyway. I just had to tell y'all that. I know we're cleaning out the closet, but I also am living life outside of this, so I need to keep you updated. Today's goals for this little segment of the video is we're gonna try on my pants listed on Depop. Let's start digging into these pants. I'm not excited. <laughs> I haven't ate anything today, by the way, so we're probably gonna have to take a coffee break, snack break, something. These are really unique shorts. I don't think I'm gonna keep these. This is all going. Before I go downstairs to get something to eat, I'm gonna show you what I actually did decide to keep. First thing I decided to keep, camo mini skirt from Urban Outfitters. I believe this is a size small or extra small. Really cute mini skirt. I think it would be really cute as long as I could just find some like spandex or something to put under to make me feel more comfortable wearing it. I would wear the fuck out of these. I kept these green shorts from ASOS. Also kept these two skirts from Urban. This is the green one. And then this is the black one. They fit me perfectly. Okay, like they literally fit me perfectly. And then I kept my two pairs of Hollister shorts because these are a size medium. So even though they're a little bit big, should be able to shrink them or just grow into them. And then I have this pair of Levi's. These are a 26. I don't know how they fit me so comfortably. Maybe it's because I didn't wear them that much, but I will say any jean shorts I have from now on, I definitely will be washing them and then like not putting them in the dryer. Six things that I kept out of almost like 20 pairs of skirts and shorts. I think the bottoms are gonna be even worse. I fear, I'm scared. <laughs> I'm genuinely nervous. <laughs> If y'all didn't know, the Spider-Man franchise is probably one of my favorite franchises in the world. I've watched every single Spider-Man movie from Tobey Maguire to Andrew Garfield to Tom Holland to Miles Morales at least five times. So if you didn't know, every Spider-Man has like a little love interest, whatever. And Gwen Stacy is Andrew Garfield's love interest. Like Toby had MJ and then of course Tom has MJ who plays Zendaya. I don't like Toby's MJ, but <laughs> we move, we're not gonna talk about that. I was listening to the best song on the soundtrack. Self Love by Miss Coyle Roy, you know. I gotta stop calling her that. Self Love by Coyle Roy. In the movie, Gwen is very much aware that in every other universe she dies in which she falls for Spider-Man because in the movie she's obviously has feelings for Miles, right? And I just think that's so trippy. Cause like imagine, you know if you get with this man, you're gonna die. You're gonna perish just because you got with Spider-Man. And she's so aware that like in every other universe, when Stacy falls for Spider-Man, in every other universe, it doesn't end well. Yeah, because you're gonna perish for falling for a man. I don't think that's fair. Imagine you're at like Spider-Man HQ, whatever. And your Gwen just perished via whiplash from the web. And you're at Spider-Man HQ and then you see another version of Gwen. Would that not be triggering? I remember somebody on Twitter saying like, there's a reason there's so many therapists in that Spider-Man HQ. Y'all all go through the same thing. And every single time it's traumatizing. Your uncle or aunt dies. The person you love is put in danger constantly. You have to pick between saving numerous people versus one. Like that's a sick job. What happened to just being your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man? <laughs> Of 
update on the club. Let me just say, I don't know how I'm not currently in tears because of the amount of stuff that I am having to get rid of because it's so small. I thought this was gonna be like a closet clean out where like I was just getting rid of stuff that I didn't like anymore. But forcing myself to try on all these clothes has really just been like, damn, like you've just been holding on to stuff because you like them. I'm gonna show y'all the pile that has accumulated because it's... And that's not even including the shirts that I went through the other day. Called my sister the first few leg like, pairs of pants that I was trying on and she was saying wait till I get home for my vacation to list them on Depop. But I was like, well, if I'm getting rid of clothes, I need to know like what I'm gonna buy. We ended up deciding it was a good idea for me to sell half and half. So I'm gonna post about a third or half of the clothes like today or tomorrow, hopefully by tomorrow so I can start shipping them out. And then depending on how fast that sells, I'll post more. But then again, I wanna see, I want y'all to see y'all options. So I don't know how I'm gonna do it. I might ask my spam account or something about like what I should do, but I'm still on the fence, but I kinda like the 50-50 idea. Maybe I'll post all the tops or like all the pants or like all the accessories and the tops and stuff like that. So I don't know. Usually shirts sell really quick um and pants usually take a little bit longer because of course like I feel like shirts have a more universal sizing system compared to pants because pant sizing is just so like intricate and specific and everything like that so i don't know how i'm gonna do it y'all but guys i'm getting rid of at least 20 plus pairs of bottoms because i'm getting rid of 16 shorts slash skirts and then i didn't even count the pants like i didn't even count them um actually let me count them now okay so i have 19 pairs of pants and then 16 pairs of shorts so that's just a little pants update i'm very 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 surprised at how many pairs of pants that i'm actually getting rid of i did not think i was gonna get rid of almost 40 pairs of bottoms like that and that's not including the shirts are you joking like i think that's kind of crazy i'm sitting up here you know kind of just thinking brainstorming you know just kind of thinking on things i think i'm actually going to go ahead and start taking pictures of the clothes for depop as much as i really hate listing stuff on depop i'm definitely selling off these we still have to go through the tops that i set aside to um which call it to sell it's still just like one big pile i think it's time to start curating boxes for donate throw out and sell because there's no reason that i'm gonna try to sell this meta pool bag <laughs> no reason i'm gonna try to sell that all right i'm not nope nope i know for a fact on depop you cannot sell used bathing suits for good reason why is your bare pubes on clothes that you're reselling you know like i just can't help but question your credibility if your bare anything has been on any clothes and you turn around and sold it on depop so all my bathing suits i'm just gonna throw away i don't have the mental capacity to try to decipher which ones i wore and which ones i didn't so i just straight to the trash because i'm just I can't even if you wash it like it's a, literally against depop policy like come on now i also almost forgot i have a bunch of gymshark stuff downstairs i need to get rid of it so that's also stuff that i have to list but i think i might wait for that till i get home because i've been meaning to sell that since i was in my apartment i've had those for a hot minute two or three more weeks isn't gonna kill anybody i kind of want to get my shirts separated into sell donate i moved the mattress from where it was before to right here all the people are gonna say don't sleep in front of a mattress this is gonna move the only reason i put it here is because earlier i was like damn like that looks crazy that mattress on the floor cock i'd like that like put it where it's supposed to be so now it's where it's gonna be when i get a bed frame i still don't have a bed frame like i a uh, little house de decorating update i've put a little hold on decorating the house because one i've been traveling non-stop who's gonna be here to get the stuff and i'm also really indecisive so i'm gonna ask you guys what i've been asking everybody so i had a plan i wanted to go for the kind of japan style for my room just really calm neutrals yada 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 not everywhere in the house is gonna be like that but that's what i wanted for the room so it's like a very calm easy to clean everything matches place right i don't know what kind of bed i want i'm trying to decide between two things so i originally wanted a wooden bed like a wooden stain just regular wooden bed you know because it pretty much goes with everything and it brings warmth into the room this room is very cold everywhere in this house is very cold and like temperature looks because the carpet in here has like a gray cool undertone and of course like the paint in here is like very cool even though it is gray it has a little bit of warmth but not as much as there should be in here so i've been trying to decide should i get a wooden bed and get no dresser because i hate dressers i think dressers are really just pain in the ass and it throws off a room especially if you don't do it right or should i get a black bed potentially like black wood not metal and get a wooden dresser because if i'm getting a dresser 
if the bed is right here it's gonna go straight across so where this mirror is a dresser would go of course like center to the wall and then maybe like a tv over it but i also don't like tvs in the bedroom but i don't know i just i can't make up my mind but in beds are also very expensive unless you go somewhere like ikea but i was talking to my mom about it and she was like you shouldn't buy a bed like that you have to put together when you're getting furniture you want to get the ones that you know they come and do it for you you know and i know they have like task grab and everything like that but basically she was saying like if you can get something other than an ikea bed go ahead and do it ikea is the one where i'm not saying i was settling on the ikea mom and like a wood stain color oak wood thing but you know to each their own so now i don't know what to do so please give me your two cents because by the time y'all watch this i probably still don't have a bed um and i've been here since march everywhere i've checked and it's either cheap looking or it's just too expensive so if y'all have any recommendations please let me know anyway let me show you the closet <laughs> let me stop talking show you the closet that was all pants up there that's the little bit of shorts and skirts that i kept and i'm gonna go ahead and put my pants up there almost 40 pairs of bottoms gone